and and uh, doctor. I'm leaving this one wide open for you to to please explain the uh, smoker side effects. So, uh, floor is all yours. Well, I, get, I do a lot of breast surgery, and in all my patients who have either breast reductions or breast lifts, I tell them, if you're a smoker, it can cause major healing problems. Well, unfortunately, just telling them healing problems wasn't enough. I still had smokers who would continue to smoke before their surgery. So then I had to really be honest with them and tell them, look, it's true. Your nipples can literally turn black and fall off if you smoke. And uh, so I wrote an article on this that has uh, since then gotten a little bit of attention. A little bit. Yeah, we read it and we said, okay, let's book this guy to explain why. Why does this happen, doctor? Well, the nicotine and the carbon monoxide that's in cigarettes, in the tobacco, that can actually cause vasoconstriction or constriction of blood vessels, and it acts as a virtual tourniquet. And it's like if you take a, a string and you tie it around your finger, you leave it on tight enough, your finger's going to turn black and fall off one day. Well, same thing with, with surgery. Now, we do a, in breast surgery with lifts and reductions, we decrease the blood supply to move things back up into a higher position. And if you combine that with smoking, I have seen it, thank God, in none of my patients, but in oh. other patients who come to see me afterwards, nipples can literally die. They fall, they turn black, they fall off, oh. and there's no nipple afterwards. Did I read in your article that sometimes when you see smokers in this condition, you have to use leeches? Yeah, so if, you get in, if we get in a situation, one of the things that I have, and I mentioned in, in my book in Stitches, is that one of the things that plastic surgeons have in our arsenal, if all else fails, is to pull out the leeches. And leeches actually act as an attachable vein. So the first thing that typically goes with blood supply are the veins. And if you add a leech, sometimes that can salvage it. So there have been countless stories of women who've had breast reductions and breast lifts. They have smoked, and their nipples start turning purplish. Purple is a precursor to black. If you throw a leech on it, you can turn that purple back to pink sometimes. And, you know, look, this is a heads up whether you're, you know, you've had that sort of augmentation or if you've had a, a facelift. I read that, that your cheeks, your, te your cheeks, I guess if they're fake, right, can fall. It's the same thing. So, so with uh, facelifts, we lift the skin up off the face. That, that, that skin has been altered, the, the blood supply to it. You add smoking to it, that skin can literally die off. And I wrote in the article on in CNN.com mm -hmm. that you can literally have part of your face look like Two Face from the movie Batman. So smokers, you are definitely warned. You know, if you're going to have plastic surgery, you got to quit smoking at least three, even four weeks before surgery and afterwards. Since we have you on, Dr. Yoon, and you provided such a fascinating discussion that we've had, um, I did want to ask, what are some other sort of uh, wacky tidbits that you've come across that are in your book? Uh, well, I included a couple of little stories as well. Um, you mentioned the leech story, uh, but there's also things like, you know, people don't know, but if you meet a medical student before a surgery, there is a good chance they're going to practice suturing on you while you're asleep. And as doctors, we all need to learn how to suture. Uh, with the advent of the Internet and now with iPads and everything, a lot of doctors are using Wikipedia and Google to actually diagnose medical conditions. Are well, you in the serious? past, we look it up in big textbooks. Now some of us will jump over to Wikipedia. Some of these medical websites are just as good, if not better, than the encyclopedias that we used to have. And, and something I, one of the things I did know, um, you know, little music in the OR, right? Does a doctor good, apparently? <laughs> yeah, you know, I like Lady Gaga, but it depends on what I'm doing. If I'm doing a facelift, maybe a little Billy Joel, something more mellow. You do liposuction, maybe throw in a little Lady Gaga. I have some colleagues of mine that's not a big thing for me. They'll be putting Metallica on while they're doing orthopedic surgery. So and, and can depends I just ask on the why? The is this a way to pass the time, keep the mood up? Well, actually, studies are actually showing that playing music in the OR can uh, help or beneficial to the actual surgeons. And the surgeons find that their techniques are better, the results are even better. And strangely enough, there are some studies that seem to show that patients seem to recover a little bit better when there's music playing when they have a procedure done. Dr. Anthony Yoon, your book is in stitches. Safe to say, I think I learned a thing or two from you today. I really appreciate you coming on and sharing your uh, wealth of knowledge. Thank you so much.